In your health news, growing concern about the country about two viruses hitting children hard with no end in sight. Maggie Vespa has more on what families need to know. America's triple demic fears are mounting. The flu and RSV spreading fast as COVID still looms and hospitals are filling up. Look, there were so many kids that were sick. Ira and Emily Jenkins brought their 10 month old Nora to a North Carolina hospital when she began having trouble breathing. You walk into the ER and, and what did you see? What was it like? Uh, well, when I go in the, in the ER, there was a line. There was like four of their parents in, in line with their babies. In six states and Washington, D.C., at least 90 percent of pediatric hospital beds are full. Colorado's governor expanding a COVID-19 disaster declaration to also cover RSV and influenza, freeing up state and federal funds. Things are really bad right now. And parents Dr. David Kimberlin works at a children's hospital in Alabama. Have you ever seen children's hospitals running out of beds like this? None of us have seen the situation the way it is now. This is not normal. And now concern a COVID wild card this winter could further strain the system. If you add an Omicron surge to the current RSV surge, there's no place for them. There's no place to put another 50, 50 kids that need to be admitted to the hospital. There are less than two weeks until Thanksgiving and doctors are encouraging anyone who hasn't gotten a flu shot or COVID booster to do that now. There's still time to do that and have stronger protection in time for the holiday. Well, still ahead at noon, a must have holiday favorite as you're planning out a Thanksgiving dessert. Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen shows us the recipe next.